Welcome to the CFEMS Exam Preparation Podcast. In this episode, we'll explore how to develop policies and procedures for information and systems management. Developing policies and procedures for information and systems management is crucial for ensuring that an organization's IT resources are used effectively, securely, and in alignment with its goals and regulatory requirements. This task involves defining the rules, guidelines, and processes that govern the use, management, and protection of IT systems and data. Here's a structured approach to developing these policies and procedures. 1. Identify requirements and standards. Regulatory compliance. Identify legal and regulatory requirements that impact information and systems management, such as HIPAA for healthcare organizations, GDPR for data protection, or specific industry standards like ISO IEC 27001 for information security management. Organizational goals. Align with organizational goals and strategies to ensure that policies and procedures support the overall mission and operational needs. 2. Define scope and objectives. Scope. Clearly define the scope of the policies and procedures, specifying which systems, data, and users are covered. Objectives. Outline the objectives of the policies and procedures, such as ensuring data integrity, protecting against unauthorized access, and providing a framework for IT governance. 3. Develop policies for key areas. Data protection and privacy. Develop policies that address data encryption, access controls, data retention, and privacy measures to protect sensitive information. Access management. Define policies for user access control, authentication methods, and the provisioning and deprovisioning of access rights. Incident response. Create an incident response policy that outlines steps for detecting, reporting, and responding to security incidents or data breaches. Disaster recovery and business continuity. Establish policies for data backup, disaster recovery planning, and business continuity to ensure the organization can continue operations in the event of a disaster or system failure. 4. Establish procedures. Implementation guidelines. Develop detailed procedures that describe how policies will be implemented, including specific steps, responsibilities, and timelines. Monitoring and enforcement. Define procedures for monitoring compliance with policies and for enforcing policy requirements, including potential sanctions for violations. Review and update. Establish a procedure for regularly reviewing and updating policies and procedures to adapt to changes in technology, regulatory requirements, and organizational goals. 5. Communicate and train. Communication plan. Develop a plan for communicating policies and procedures to all relevant stakeholders, ensuring that everyone is aware of their responsibilities. Training programs. Implement training programs to educate employees on the importance of the policies and procedures, how to comply with them, and the implications of non-compliance. 6. Monitor and review. Compliance monitoring. Continuously monitor compliance with policies and procedures, using audits, reviews, and automated systems to detect deviations. Performance review. Regularly review the effectiveness of policies and procedures in meeting their objectives, and make adjustments as necessary. Benefits of developing policies and procedures. Enhance security. Policies and procedures provide a framework for securing information in IT systems, reducing the risk of data breaches and other security incidents. Regulatory compliance. Well-defined policies and procedures help ensure compliance with relevant laws and regulations, minimizing the risk of legal penalties. Operational efficiency. Clear guidelines improve the efficiency of IT operations by standardizing processes and reducing the potential for errors or inconsistencies. Informed decision-making. A solid framework of policies and procedures supports informed decision-making by providing clear guidelines and processes for managing IT resources. Summary. Developing and implementing comprehensive policies and procedures for information and systems management is a foundational aspect of effective IT governance. It requires a collaborative effort involving IT leadership, legal, compliance, and operational teams to ensure that the organization's IT practices are secure, compliant, and aligned with its strategic objectives. If you found this content valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to Professional Certifications channel.